I have this old wheel hoe and uh, it's all metal. It's a nice little old thing. No telling how old it is. And I don't know who, who made it. <laughs> made years ago, obviously. It came, uh, my wife deals in antiques and it came with a uh, just one plow on it, kind of a middle buster. But, and that was, that worked well to plant, um, to make rows for, uh, gosh, watermelons and peas and such. Um, but I need a cultivator now. So I'm trying to invent something without buying something. And I've got two things that I'm looking at. I've already tried this one. I just took an old, uh, um, pitchfork cut uh, I, I've got several I'm not running uh, well I guess I did run a good pitchfork but I've got several of these and this was just the the fork uh, the handles long since gone um, so I cut it off and it's still serviceable um, just, just shorter <laughs> I cut off about four inches of it and uh, ran it through the garden several times. Ran it through the garden without taking any uh, any length off of it. It was just uh, the the wheel horse was sitting way up. The handles were sitting way up here. Not cool. So um, put a couple of uh, pipe clamps on it, U bolts, whatever you want to call those, and ran it through there after I cut it off. I like the way it. I like the way it's working. So uh, my plan is to not use the u-bolts the pipe clamps because they are i mean obviously i've bent them up pretty good just get them to get them to do their duty on that but i will um i've got something else in mind about how to attach them to this and make it uh, you know kind of a quick attach we'll see how that works out okay so the plan is to weld a couple of bolts onto that and uh that will feed through the the little arm that hangs down. It's, it's a two-pronged thing. The bolt should go right through the middle of it, like that, and hold it on there. So to help with this, I've got a little 90-degree magnet that will hold that while I tack it. Hold it perfectly, 90 degrees. Those. Are handy. These are carriage bolts which have a round top to them. So I need to take that top off, make it flat so it'll fit. So it'll fit flush down on that handle. So this is still very hot, so I'm gonna be careful, but it will fit inside there like a soap. So anyway, I'll put a couple of big washers on here, lock washer, tighten her down. Gotta go back and weld it good. Uh, just tacked it for right now just to, to look at it. I'll be able to scoot it up and down, which will give me a depth adjustment as I'm as I'm going in. I can get deep or whatever, uh, whatever's comfortable. A lot of it's got to do with comfortable as far as pushing it the, where the handles are. With uh, with those tines, before I cut those tines off, it was uh, uh, the handles were above my shoulders. It was just yeah awkward. Uh, I could come in here, and I'm thinking about it with some little bitty sweeps on here little bitty triangles welded on the ends of here as sweeps like that little bitty ones maybe an inch wide inch and a half don't quite touch each other down here maybe they do touch each other maybe that'd best be the best thing close to each other well i couldn't stand it i had to make <laughs> put some sweeps on there so i just cut out some little triangles and welded them on the end of the tines I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Who knows? I may paint it Kubota orange.
Well, that is about as effortless as it can be. That is going to work great. Anyway, that's it. We're gone.